The following information is intended for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of A Rude Awakening International, nor this broadcaster. Should you choose to implement this information, please do so only with the assistance of a licensed medical professional. Neither the presenter, nor A Rude Awakening International, nor this broadcaster assume any responsibility for any adverse effects or consequences that may result. You are what you eat is a good rule of thumb, but it's not entirely true. Of course, you want to eat foods that promote health, fight inflammation, and empower your immune system to reverse the symptoms of disease and aging. But if your body is unable to absorb the nutrients, good food won't do you any good. The key is good gut health. And that does not mean taking antacids to stop heartburn and other gut issues. We're going to talk to pharmacist Billy Weiss about the importance of digestion enzymes and nutrient absorption, and it's going to give you a health awakening. Welcome to The Health Awakening. I'm your host, Scott Laird. No matter how good your diet is, if your digestive system is not giving you peak performance, you are not getting what you think you are. And a big key to digestion is enzymes. Enzymes are proteins that break down food. Each raw food has its own enzymes that help the food break down. And your pancreas also produces enzymes to break down food. But in this day and age, nothing is perfect, and that includes your digestion. And as a result, many people suffer with heartburn, acid reflux, and even IBS and Crohn's disease. But is medication really the answer? And what about even simple medication like antacids? Do they help or complicate the situation? Well, here to give us a little more insight on proper digestion, enzymes, digestive medications, and how to optimize nutrient absorption is one of our most popular guests here on The Health Awakening, pharmacist Billy Weiss. Billy, thank you for joining us on The Health Awakening. Thank you, Scott. So let's talk about this, digestion. You know, why is digestion, and on a larger scale, even overall gut health, so important to overall health? Yes, yeah, Scott, it has really far-reaching implications. Um, our gut is actually the second brain. That's even what some of the medical literature refers to today. 80% of our immune system is in the gut, so that's obviously a huge uh, deal today in keeping our immune system healthy. And when we look at the things like the serotonin or our feel-good hormone, is 90% of that is produced in the gut. And often we overlook those kind of things when we're having somebody with, with some of these issues. And so getting our gut healthy is a key element in, in everything we do today. Over 50 million Americans have autoimmune disease and that as almost always has an attribute of leaky gut. So we have all these gut issues that we need to address. So what is, uh, for those who don't understand the term, maybe they've heard of leaky gut syndrome. What, what exactly is leaky gut syndrome? Well, the gut is designed to keep the foods and the things that we take in, in inside the gut lining, okay? And sometimes that gut lining can get permeable and things will leak out that are not designed to be leaked out into the bloodstream. And so when that happens, we create autoimmune responses because the body sees that as a foreign invader. And so that can be something as common as thyroid issues. It can be something as complicated as Crohn's disease. It can be all these different ramifications. It can be psoriasis, uh, eczema. We can have skin conditions that are autoimmune. I mean, we have all these different things that are going on and, and we know that 50 million Americans suffer from these things and so we would certainly look at the literature and say most, if not all of those folks, have leaky gut. So how do we correct those types of issues? And essentially that's like an allergy, isn't it? Because allergies are a reaction to a protein and quite often leaky gut syndrome is, is a protein being released into the bloodstream before it's completely broken down. That's exactly right, And Scott. so the body looks at it as if it's, it's uh, something to be allergic to and therefore that allergic response kicks in and thus we call those autoimmune, uh, that's autoimmune correct. Uh, diseases. It's really our body trying to protect us but what's happened is another part of the body is broken down and so mm -hmm. if we can correct that, hopefully we can turn that signal to the body off. So how do we correct that? Uh, how do we start healing the gut? What's, what's involved with that? Well, certainly we need to get the right um, gut bacteria combinations in there, which hopefully we can do another show on probiotics. Um, but for today, we wanna talk more about the enzymes and how do we break food down properly so that we can get the nutrients that are designed to go 
into the bloodstream, but keep the ones that aren't in the gut lining and get rid of the waste effectively. And so we see this as a big issue today. Over 750,000 uh, Americans every year have their gallbladder removed, and the mm. gallbladder plays a huge part in the digestion, especially of fats. Over 90 million Americans have fatty liver disease today, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Mm. And that, of course, plays a huge uh, role, the liver does, in, in digestion and in creating bile that then should be stored in the gallbladder. But if we don't have all these parts and pieces working right, there can be big issues. The pancreas is designed to help with digestion and produce enzymes, but we have such a sugar overload and so many problems there that the pancreas is you know, doing all it can to make the insulin. So the body just can't keep up with all these issues. So by giving the body what it needs to make digestion easier, we can certainly help the gut heal. Now, you mentioned uh, the liver being involved in sugar. I'm not sure a lot of people realize that, but essentially sugar is digested the same way alcohol is. And there, that's why we have the same issues with the, the liver as uh, even if people don't drink, uh, the sugar can still cause a problem with the liver. Well, absolutely. I mean, the 90 million people that have, that have shown to have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, unfortunately, have pro they are proven that to us, that yes, the sugar can create the same issues. Now real quickly, you have a story about uh, someone named Callie. Tell us about Callie. Well, I do. Callie came through my OptiURX Wellness Summit 14 weeks ago, and her biggest complaint was that she had stomach pain every single day. She, since she was 19, and she's 39 now, mm -hmm. she had gone through all the standard channels, the drugs, the, the endoscopies, the colonoscopies, the tests, the, and nothing ever helped. Actually, she told me she was worse after 21 years of it. And so, after just a few weeks on our program with our four foundational supplements, two of which are for gut health, uh, and changing her food plan, she has no stomach pain at all, since then, she's off all her prescription medications. She's off all her over-the-counter medications. Wow. And she just feels great. And, and as a side effect of doing the right things, she's lost 52 pounds. Wow, well, we're gonna know more about this in the next segment. When we come back, we're going to do an experiment that shows you what enzymes do in your body and having the proper enzymes, how that really helps. So we'll be back with more with The Health Awakening in just a minute, stay tuned. Good and evil are constantly at war within each of us, and the one we allow to lead our thoughts and emotions will ultimately determine our destiny. In a special guest teaching, available only in February, Bill Cloud presents The War Within Us and The War Around Us in The Spirit of Esau. The story of Jacob and Esau is not just about two men who lived a long time ago but it's, it's actually establishing a pattern for us. It's helping us to see the two opposing forces in the world. The Spirit of Esau is a special teaching that is not on YouTube and it's not available for sale. But we'll send you this exclusive teaching as our thanks for your love gift donation of just $50. If we're not careful, that, that Esau within us, that evil inclination wants to rise up and dictate what we do, tell us how we think. In addition to the special teaching, we'd also like to give you two more gifts. With a donation of $100 or more, we'll send you the teaching, plus Bill Cloud's best-selling book, Esau Rising, and the 12 Tribes of Israel Mezuzah. Hang the mezuzah in your doorway as a reminder to live your life as a member of God's family, Israel. Make your donation now, $50, $100 or more, to receive these special gifts. The Spirit of Esau collection is available only in February. Jacob is a pattern for you and I to look at in the sense that this is what we're called to do. When we're born again, this is who we're to be. Get these special gifts now as a constant reminder of who you are in Messiah, the born again spirit that is Jacob versus the desires of the flesh personified in Esau. Act now to receive the Spirit of Esau teaching, plus Bill Cloud's book, Esau Rising and the 12 Tribes of Israel Mezuzah. Call or visit our website to make your love gift donation now. Welcome back to The Health Awakening. Before the break, we were talking about enzymes and proper digestion and, and what can happen if you don't have 
enzymes in your body. So now we're gonna do a bit of a demonstration here that shows exactly how that works. We have a bottle of enzymes here, and we have some, uh, uh, a couple of packs of pudding that represent food going into the stomach and, and, and what happens here. So Billy, uh, we're gonna open these uh, packs of uh, pudding and you explain what we're doing here. Okay, sure. Let's just take the tops off the pudding and we're gonna pretend that the um, pudding container Mm -hmm. is the stomach. Okay. And we're gonna pretend that the pudding inside the container is a healthy meal. All right. Okay, and so what happens is one meal is gonna get an enzyme capsule mm -hmm. and one meal is not. So right. what I'm gonna do is open up the digestive enzymes. Now this is the digestive enzymes that you have formulated. Correct, this okay. is my formula of digestive enzymes, that's correct. All right. And so I'm just gonna take one digestive enzyme capsule. And so let's assume we're eating our healthy meal, Scott, and the difference is that you don't take a digestive enzyme, but I do. Okay, okay? and we're gonna look at the difference of how this works and what happens, and hopefully show people and explain to them why so many Americans suffer from heartburn and GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. So we eat these healthy meals and in our stomach, churns that meal, it turns it around. So let's take our spoons, okay. and we're just gonna gently churn our meal around, okay? Right. And we're just gonna churn it for a minute or so here um, as we talk. So what happens is we're eating this nice, healthy meal. I have added some enzymes, you have not. And we're gonna show that what happens, I think, in reflux disease or heartburn and all these issues that we can just go to any local pantry or wherever and buy, um, you know, some of these pills that cut off the acid production, Scott, or mm -hmm. some that, uh, that you mentioned earlier, antacids that neutralize the acid production. Well, I don't think that acid is the issue. I think that enzymes are the issue. So okay. you and I eat the same healthy meal. Our stomach churns it. I have enzymes, you don't. Maybe you've had your gallbladder removed, like the 750,000 Americans a year that we've talked about. Maybe you have diabetes or, you know, your liver is overloaded. It, who knows? We have all these different things going on in America today. And so what happens is your body says, hey, you have food in here. It's been churned. I need stomach acid. The stomach acid's purpose is to activate the enzymes. So the stomach acid comes from the proton pump or our mm -hmm. pump for that, and it activates the enzymes. Well, here's the problem. If you're enzyme deficient, and by the age of 40, we've lost at least 30% of our enzyme production, no okay? So just are. age, right, yeah. has something to do with it. The body says, okay, activate the enzymes, break that meal down, Scott. Well, you didn't have the enzymes to do it. Mm. So what happens is later, maybe you're sitting down watching the Health Awakening show, right? And you get a little burn up your chest and you go, wow, I have a little heartburn. It must be something I ate. Well, then maybe you lay down and you have severe heartburn and maybe can even think that you're having a heart attack or something really severe is going on. What that is, is that is your body signaling to your stomach saying, hey, we gotta get this food broken down. So it sends out more acid to activate the enzymes. Now we can show people the difference. Hmm. So I'm gonna show you what my meal, my healthy meal, the same meal you had with enzymes looks like and what yours looks like. So okay. we'll just turn them up oh, mine's and we'll see up. what happens. Yours is liquid, mine's not, I right. have to squeeze this one. So what happens, Scott, is this. Look at that. Your meal didn't break down, okay? Right. Because you didn't have the sufficient enzymes. My meal broke down perfectly and only had to shoot the acid out one time. Mm. So I didn't have heartburn whereas as you would have with that. So, and so it's not too much acid. Cutting the acid off has negative ramifications. Mm, because your body's it's, just gonna create more and, correct. and compound it's the problem. too little enzymes. Mm. And so we can correct most people can correct their heartburn and their gastroesophageal reflux disease and a lot of these other things by taking the right enzymes. Now, you mentioned that, you know, all these different things going on in the body, but how many people really know what's going on in their body between uh, health checkups? I mean, you could have any number of these uh, deficiencies or, or uh, malfunctions going on in your body. So really, it behooves everyone to take an enzyme because it's not gonna hurt you. 
That's it, correct. It's only gonna help you. And by, like you said, the age of 40, everyone is deficient in enzymes to some degree, no matter how healthy you are, or, or what kind of foods we eat. Because in the first segment, we talked about how raw foods have their own enzymes that start the process, but they don't, they don't finish the process entirely. So you still need a little help, either from your body through pancreatic enzymes or, or by taking uh, something that can help your body along and not cause the stress. Well, I equate it to this. That heartburn is like the red light coming on in our car, right? The warning light. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna get to the warning light. Let's take the enzymes, let's be proactive let, instead of reactive, and let's prevent ever having that heartburn light come on. So I think you're exactly right. We can benefit from enzymes. And we haven't gotten to nearly all the benefits of enzymes and what they can do for our, we've talked about immune system and stuff, but exercise recovery, recovery from surgeries. Mm, wow. All kind of things can be uh, helped by enzymes. And one of the reasons that people get fatigued after a meal is that the body is, is taking so much energy to try to break this food down. And so we get fatigued, we get sleepy, we wanna lay down, right? We wanna go to sleep after a meal. When you have the enzymes, you take a lot of that energy load away from the body and you still have more energy, you feel better, you're healthier, we're helping prevent some of these gut issues. Well, let's talk more about that in our next segment. Next segment, we're going to talk about why en enzymes are so important, what they can help your body with, what, uh, what not having them will do to you, and which ones, which enzymes are the best to buy. We'll be back with that in just a minute on The Health Awakening. The Chronological Gospels Bible is changing lives all over the world, putting everything the Messiah did in exact chronological order and explaining the behind the scenes truth of what the Messiah did, when he did it, and why. The timing of it all means everything. And now, the Chronological Gospels can be easier on your eyes. The larger print edition features 40% larger type and every page appears exactly the same as the original, so you can follow along with others who have the regular size version. The Chronological Gospels Larger Print Edition also has wider margins to write notes, and the premium quality paper means you can highlight without soaking through. Plus, the Larger Print Edition lies flat, so you can teach without having to hold the book open. The Chronological Gospels Larger Print Edition is a big and beautiful coffee table book, measuring a full 12 inches tall and nine inches wide. Order now and you'll also get two bonus CDs of Michael Rood's audio reading of the introduction section to the Chronological Gospels. Study the Bible with clarity and ease. I love the size of this book. This is nine by 12. The paper is, is perfect because it doesn't bleed through when I write on it. I can mark it up and I always make notes in all my Bibles. Everything is the same place as it is on the smaller version and I can just stand back and I can teach from it and it's just, it's the perfect size. Order the Chronological Gospels larger print edition by phone or online. You'll get 40% larger type than the original and the bonus audio CDs of the introduction read by Michael Rood. Get the Chronological Gospels Bible larger print edition for just $69.95. Call or visit our website now. And welcome back to The Health Awakening. Well, in our last segment, you saw what digestive enzymes can do. They can either help your body or you can make your body do all the work. Why would you not want to make your body do all the work? Because it causes stress and then your body is not able to do other things. And because of that stress, people end up taking a lot of medications, don't they, Billy, for something that is very simple to, to fix. They really do in a lot of cases, Scott. We see a lot of those so-called purple pills that are proton pump inhibitors, which means that they cut the stomach acid off. And, and that's a problem because I tell people all the time, God gave us a stomach acid pump for a reason. And when we cut that off, it can have some serious side effects. And some of the things that we see with these types of drugs are, you know, it can weaken our bones. It can cause heart issues. It can lead to liver issues. It can lead to uh, all kinds of things that we don't really need. It can lead to malabsorption of nutrients. It can lead to increased rates of cancer. So if we can avoid those types of drugs by using a supplement that only has positive effects, 
always think that's a win. And you know, the really ironic part of these types of drugs is that they're typically meant to be used for a maximum of two to 12 weeks. And 12 weeks would be severe cases. But most often people get on these things and they're on them forever. And so you can go to any local pantry or any store anywhere and buy these drugs without a doctor, without a pharmacist, without any recommendation from a healthcare professional. And so people just get on them forever. And all they're doing is covering up the symptoms and what we're wanting to do and what I hope we demonstrated to people is how do we actually fix the problem? Hmm. So now you mentioned uh, something I found very interesting. One of the first symptoms was it can weaken the bones. How does it weaken the bones? Well, it interferes with calcium absorption, Scott, because we need the, the acid to break down and absorb the calcium, the nutrients out of the foods that we eat. It can cause heart problems because it decreases the magnesium absorption. And we've, you know, we talk a lot about magnesium. So all these different ramifications or, or, or you know, unintended consequences are some of the things we see. It interferes with vitamin D absorption and vitamin D affects, you know, over 2000 genes in our body. So all these things can have long lasting effects. So these things are only intended to be taken if you were to even take them, which hopefully by taking an enzyme, you wouldn't even need them. But if you were to take them for, for two to 12 weeks, so what is the thinking behind the manufacturers there that you would take it for 12 weeks? What are they hoping you're gonna do in the meantime that would help, that would alleviate not taking it past 12 weeks? Well, Scott, certainly there can be cases where we would want to cut the enzyme, uh, the acid off for a short, short term, such as if we had a bleeding ulcer in those types uh -huh. of cases. But what it's become is a crutch for heartburn and gastroesophageal reflux disease. And so people just get into habits, right? And they mm -hmm. just get into the habit of taking it and they say, well, I, I burn if I don't take it, so I'll just keep taking it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we see. There are times, but they're very rare that we would need to cut the stomach acid off. So if we're not gonna take those and we wanna do it right, we wanna take a digestive enzyme. So what should we be looking for in a good digestive enzyme? Well, we want a complete enzyme, Scott, one that is equipped to break down fats, proteins, carbohydrates. And even in my formula, I've added something that breaks down the cell wall of different uh, foods that we would eat, such as raw veggies and things, because those can be hard for our bodies to, to digest also. So we wanna make the body work as little as possible to have to create enzymes and create digestion and allow it to do other things like uh, strengthen my immune system, create new brain cells, recover from injury, recover from surgery. That's the kind of things that we wanna allow our body to do and not have to work so hard for, for in, enzymes and, and digestion. Right. And I don't think people realize how much energy uh, digestion really takes, but all you need to do is think of after a, a big dinner, yeah. how tired do you feel? Why do you feel tired? Because your body is concentrating on the stomach, trying to get rid of that food. That's and, correct, Scott. Yeah. It creates a huge energy deficit, and that's why we do feel that fatigue after we eat, especially a big meal, because the body knows that it needs to be broken down. Hmm. We can alleviate a lot of those symptoms of tiredness and fatigue and wanting to go to sleep after a big meal by doing this, and it's actually proven um, to help with exercise recovery, recovery after surgery. So they have far-reaching benefits. We just unfortunately, uh, don't see a lot of education typically on digestive enzymes. How does an enzyme help with exercise recovery? Well, we have something from a pineapple, which I know you're familiar with, bromelain in mm, this particular bromelain. supplement. Mm -hmm. And bromelain can help reduce inflammation and along with some amylase and a couple other enzymes in there, actually shown to help with exercise recovery. And part of that is reduction of inflammation and part of that is getting more nutrients into the cells because one of the biggest things that digestive enzymes can do is increase our cellular energy, our mitochondrial energy, which is obviously important for everyday tasks, but especially exercise. Hmm. All right, well, great information on proper digestive enzymes. And when we come back on The Health Awakening, we will show you how to get your hands on the good stuff. We'll be right back. Every Passover, we commemorate the Last Supper. But The Last Supper is just the beginning. A Rude Awakening International presents Passover 2018 live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Enjoy an amazing Passover feast and learn what lies ahead in biblical prophecy all weekend long from some of the most well-known teachers of the end times. Keynote speaker, Perry Stone. Biblical prophecy and Islam expert, Joel Richardson. From Shorshi Ministries, Bill Cloud. From Love for Yeshua Ministries, Chris Knight. 
and your host, the biblical chronologist, Michael Rood. Enjoy praise and worship music, children's ministry, and youth ministry. Plus, take part in the mikvah, the ancient biblical version of baptism, and the heartfelt family ceremony dating back to the Israelites, the redemption of the firstborn. You'll even learn how to make unleavened bread like they do in the Middle East. One ticket gives you all of this, all weekend long. Passover, live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Get tickets now at PassoverCharlotte.com. Good and evil are constantly at war within each of us, and the one we allow to lead our thoughts and emotions will ultimately determine our destiny. In a special guest teaching available only in February, Bill Cloud presents The War Within Us and The War Around Us in The Spirit of Esau. If we are not careful, that Esau within us, that evil inclination wants to rise up and dictate what we do, tell us how we think. Get The Spirit of Esau teaching now for your love gift donation of just $50. Or with a donation of $100 or more, we'll send you the teaching plus Bill Cloud's best-selling book, Esau Rising, and The Twelve Tribes of Israel Mezuzah, a reminder to live your life as a member of God's family, Israel. Jacob is a pattern for you and I to look at in the sense that this is what we're called to do. When we're born again, this is who we're to be. Act now to receive the Spirit of Esau teaching, plus the book and the Israel Mezuzah. Call or visit our website to make your love gift donation now. Welcome back to The Health Awakening. Before the break, we were talking with our guest, Billy Weiss, about enzymes. What's good about them, what they can help your body with, and what makes a good enzyme? And Billy, I'm holding your enzyme supplement in my hand. I'm seeing something at the top of the list I've never seen in an enzyme supplement, and that is ox bile powder. Why? Well, research shows that the ox bile powder helps our bodies break down fats. And we know that 90 million Americans have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So there's some research that shows that having the ox bile can help the body break down some of that fat even around our livers. So it can improve liver function. Beyond that, anyone who's had their gallbladder removed certainly needs to have the ox bile because that's part of what's stored in the liver is the bile. And then that comes out when we eat fat and helps break it down. So it's imperative that anybody without a gallbladder be on an enzyme with the ox bile in it. And if they have the gallbladder removed, I think you've told me before that uh, they also have an increased risk of uh, diabetes throughout their life as well. They do, as much as 50% for the rest of their life, unfortunately, because they can't break things down as well, and we can help alleviate a lot of that with the right enzymes. All right, well, there you go. That's why it's so important to have a digestive enzyme and a good one at that, and you can get a good one at Billy's website, OptiURx.com. That's OptiYourX.com. Our guest today has been Billy Weiss. Billy, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And we'll see you next time for another Health Awakening. Thank you for joining us today on The Health Awakening. You can catch the replay of this episode and see our complete show schedule at healthawakening.tv. For more information about our guest today on all they have to offer, please visit their website on the bottom of your screen. And please remember the information you saw today is for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice, nor do the views expressed reflect those of this broadcaster. Should you choose to implement this information, please do so only with the assistance of a licensed medical professional. Neither the presenter nor this broadcaster assume any responsibility for any adverse effects or consequences that may result. Thank you.